Today I'm taking a bike out to get to Norwood. Um, it's a new way that I really want to promote of getting around from meetings to meetings. I think taking responsibility for more active travel, for avoiding cabs, avoid booking out cars, I'm going to use a bike. There's more than a dozen bikes across the CBD area. Different sizes, different locations. You don't have to be specially dressed in jeans and sneakers or anything, but as part of being in the work environment, you can use a bike for work purposes. Uh, yeah, my name is Kazan. I'm working for Heavy Vehicle Section. As part of my work, I do a lot of site visit and we do a lot of meetings for our projects. Um, I have seen uh, these days many people using bicycle for, for work and especially traveling uh, from Norwood to city because um, it's a healthy lifestyle and um, also, you know, it's quicker. A bicycle is quicker because these days we have dedicated bicycle lanes all the way down to city and uh, you don't stuck in the traffic. Uh, riding bicycle is better than, um, for example, taking your car, driving it, and there's no much parking in the city. You have to spend a lot of time searching for, for the car park, where when you take a bicycle, it's just um, quick and easy. I think as public servants and leadership of the transport department, and obviously I'm leadership in road safety, we all have a role to play in demonstrating the different ways to reduce congestion and conflict in the road transport network. So this is an opportunity for everybody to um, sort of step up and use an alternative mode of transport and think about how you can contribute to uh, your own safety and to the broader safety of others. So as a department, uh, DIPTI has a role to support all, all road users, um, no matter what, what mode they choose. And I think um, we, can, we can take some small steps to uh, normalise cycling even further and, um, and really get some great benefits um, out of that and allow people to have, have that choice of getting around however they choose. I think with, with bicycle riders, uh, we can, we can really remove some of these barriers and make it as normal as possible. Um, you know, so, it's, so there's no difference between um, getting a work car or getting a work bike. It's just, it's just the mode that you choose and it's, it's all a valid, valid option. Uh, we can really get some great benefits um, uh, for the department uh, through encouraging, encouraging that. Bicycle is fun, especially if you ride electric bike. So if you ride electric bike for the first time, you feel like somebody pushing you behind. This is where all the fun starts. That's, that's, that's very good, I, I, I like it. You can um, select a mode to let the electric motor take over and that assists you. So it's rider assist, pedal assist, and it's fantastic. So you're not going to arrive sweaty, you're not going to arrive tired, you're going to arrive comfortable and um, all you've got to do at the end is lock the bike and head into the meeting. Uh, the acquisition of the Pedalex was a very positive move. They basically uh, give you a boost when you're pedalling up to 25 kilometres an hour. So it's fairly cruisy pace. And I think we're, we're really lucky in Adelaide, um, particularly in the CBD, because there's lots of, lots of really accessible paths, uh, off-road paths particularly, and a lot of bike lanes on the, on the city street that really make cycling a, a viable option. If you want to think about your sustainability, your own effect on the environment, your own sort of personal fitness, you know, all these things, just getting out in the fresh air, a clear head before going to the next meeting and not being stressed in traffic, but actually riding through the park or taking a, a cycle route. There's a lot of benefits for the mind, for the health, and for reducing congestion on the roads. So the fewer cars on the roads, the lower the exposure and the greater benefit to road safety.